In this lesson, we're going to create a new project and add Bootstrap to it in Visual Studio Community 2015. So I'm going to say File, New, Website. For our class, we're going to make an ASP.NET website, Razor V3. You might want to come down here and change where on your computer you want this website to be stored and what folder you want it to be stored in. So maybe I want to rename this and call it Homework 2. I'm going to say OK. Visual Studio is going to do its thing and create this website with a lot of associated template files, which is a fine thing to have. Even if you want to start this site from scratch, it's often helpful to see an example of how things should be laid out and how things could be used. This will be especially important as we go forward with more advanced homework assignments. All right, now we've got this project set up. What we're going to do is add Bootstrap to this site. To do so, I'm going to right click on the name of the project, Homework 2, the name of the site, and I'm going to go to Manage NuGet Packages. This is an automated way of adding third party libraries into your project. We want to look for Bootstrap, which we can click up here and search for Bootstrap. And the bootstrap we want is this top one with the purple B. We're going to say install. The cool thing about NuGet is that it will automatically download and install the library that we want, bootstrap, and any dependencies, anything else that's required to have an ASP.NET website or project that uses bootstrap. You can see there's a couple other dependencies here that will be installed. We're going to say OK, that's good. We'll let it do its thing. You can check out the output down here and see what packages are being downloaded and installed. When it's done, it'll say finished. You should be good to go. If you want to check out what it did, you can see under the content folder, there should be several bootstrap CSS files. And under the, uh, there should be the fonts folder. There will also be some bootstrap that's under the scripts right here, bootstrap.js. And what we will want to use is the bootstrap files, the bootstrap minified CSS files. So to do so, to just make a simple static web page, we would right click, say add, say add new item, and then click on HTML page. You can call it whatever we want to, like bootstrap fun .html. Let's say OK. You'll notice I get this template skeleton for a web page and what I'm going to want to do is include the bootstrap bootstrap minified CSS files which you can get to under content I'm going to want to want to bring in first the minified bootstrap I'm just going to drag and drop and it'll write this link HTML for me and on the next line I want the bootstrap theme dot min bootstrap has the core functionality, the core CSS that's used by all themes in the make, in the framework, and then the theme is just the stuff that's kind of customized to your site, the, a lot of the colors and, and fonts. So you can swap this theme out for other themes uh, if you want. Now that we have that, Bootstrap's installed. Um, you'll also want to, if you're going to use any of the JavaScript components of Bootstrap, you would need to drag over a link to the JavaScript for Bootstrap, and you could do that like so. Um, you'll also need jQuery, which is a dependency of Bootstrap. So you'd want to bring over the minified latest version of jQuery as well, which should be this one. And we're going to include that before Bootstrap. So now we should have this template set up to use bootstrap in an ASP.NET Razor v3 website in Visual Studio Community 2015. Hope that helps.